Hey y'all, I'm Nada Stylus. I'm a 23 year old mom from Chicago. I've been in this hair industry for 10 years. I've completed so many of my goals and baby, it was a struggle getting here. So I made this YouTube channel to help as many people as I can with their journey. I hope y'all like it. Thank you. Hey babies, welcome back to my channel. I know everybody wig crazy right now, but it's some people that still want sew-ins out here. You know what I'm saying? Wigs be too hot sometimes. Some people like to let their scalp get a little air sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to start by bleaching the knots. Right here, I'm just checking to see if the bleach covered all of the black dots. It looks good to me. So now it's time to mold it. To mold it, I use some Influence Honey Almond Foam Mousse. This right here just flattens the closure out and makes it easier to style. And it also makes your client's hair stay flat for longer versus if you just flat iron it regularly with a hot comb. I usually use enough mousse to make sure that when I'm combing it, it actually goes flat instead of poofing back up. So I'll make sure that it's saturated and wet and then I'll wrap it with a stocking cap and go ahead and put it in a dryer for a good 20, 25 minutes. I love Influence products so much that I just use a whole hairline. You know, it makes my client's hair feel so good. It makes me happy. It makes them happy. You know, I just love them. So I can't stay away. Anyway, we going in two times with the rosemary shampoo and two times with the honey almond. Then I'm going to deep condition her and add some stimulating spray. Then I'm going to place a shower cap over her head and let her sit under the dryer for about 25 minutes for a really good deep condition. And her hair is going to feel so much better. It was a little dry because she just took some braids out. But, you know, we're going to fix that and add some moisture right back up into her hair life. And y'all know how I get down. I'm going to scrub the dead skin off that scalp, baby, because I don't want nothing to be irritating her scalp under that sew-in. Now, see, I, now, I know y'all see that moisture in her hair. Like, it was just so easy to brush through her hair because that deep condition made her hair so soft. Like, detangling it was no problem. To easily stretch it out, I hold the ends and the brush and I just take my time with drying the middle of it. I try not to go too close to the root because the blow dryer gets really, really hot. So, I, you know, I try to be cautious for my clients. I ain't trying to burn my babies, you know. Doing this technique actually saved me so much time with blow drying. And I don't have to do all that back and forth pulling on my client's hair. It's less work on my wrist and my arm. And my client is more comfortable with this because I'm not constantly pulling on her hair. See, now I just did that so fast, you got to rewind it. Shake your head like you're saying no for me. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. Period. Okay. So I need y'all to play close attention. See how the first braid is all bass lonely? And then the next two braids are together in the next two and the next two. I do that so that I'm not bringing too many braids back into um, the rest of the braids. I want it to be real, real flat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to braid that circle pattern right over these braids. Okay. So if you can see, I open spaces up where I will be braiding it. And I pulled the hair through, parted it, as you can see. And then I'm just going to literally braid right over all of those braids. And I'm going to do this for every single braid that I go around in that circle with. But each time I go around, I'm going to add one braid from each side. I don't want to add too many braids at one time because then it's going to create bulkiness. Okay? So in this first braid... I'm going to bring that first braid that's closest to her ear into the braid I'm doing now. Then when I get to the other side, I'm going to add that braid that's closest to her ear into the braid also. When I get back around to this side, I'm going to add the next braid in. As I'm braiding, I'm making sure my braids stay as tight as possible. And I'm doing that by grabbing small 
pieces of hair into the braid at one time. I'm not trying to make the braid all loose. So I want to braid very, very close together and take my time. Hey, hey, y'all see that flat, okay? All that hair just went up into these braids like wham. Do you hear me? I don't know what made me think of this pattern. I just did it one day and it worked. I just felt like I needed a lot of small braids. And if somebody paying me two, three hundred dollars to do a closure sewing, I'm not going to do 10, 12 fat wig braids in their head. You know, I'm going to make sure I give them a braid pattern that actually lasts and that's actually going to keep their sewing tight and put together for a long time. I've literally had clients keep up closure sew-ins for a whole three months. They will come and get a touch-up between like four to five, and that it consists of the wash and me reapplying the closure. And they can go a whole nother month, month and a half with wearing their closure sew-in because the braids still be tight. And when I say tight, I don't mean literally. I mean close together because I already noticed that it's been a little pulling on her edges, so I didn't want to make anything tight. I know I got on her nerves because I asked her a thousand times, is it tight? Do it hurt? It ain't pulling right. And she was like, nah, baby, I can't feel nothing, okay? But anyway, like I said, people like to let their scalp breathe. So I just sewed the stocking cap only where the closure will be sitting, okay? I don't need the whole stocking cap over her whole head. Stitch game on fleek. Now that that lace glue is done drying, I'm going to go ahead and pop on my closure. And I try not to waste no time, baby. I sewed them first two bundles in while her closure was still in the dryer and the lace glue was drying. So everything could be done at once. Hey, now. Okay, baby. Scalp. Scalp. Okay. Y'all better keep playing. Side. Okay, Kiki. Key, key. Come on. Okay. Period. Oh, yes. Do your, Ooh. Mm, do your, mm, yes, honey. Mm, mm, yes. Okay. Y'all okay. just Ooh. love Ooh. seeing a beautiful that? outcome. Like, baby, that's how hell you can't see it be done different. You hear me? Hmm. Y'all already knew good looks running this family, baby. Yeah, they ain't with me. They ain't really ready for this shit. They really mad because I'm a boss ass. You know what I'm saying? Lay money on it.